Okay, now if you want to maintain a well established rosemary bonsai, um, it's very simple. Um, the natural growth habit tends to be shooting up like that. Well, get back down to about where you want to be, cut it so that you don't see the ends being cut. See? See if there's a bud like that, just cut to it. Maybe it's easy to see, but see this little bud here? I'm going to cut to it. So it looks very natural. Doesn't look like it's been cut. You just follow that same principle all around. Very simple. Um, getting the original outline, that requires a lot more effort. But once you have the shape that you want, maintaining is simple. Huh? Just cut to the outline. And if you do this more often, then instead of waiting until it gets really out of hand, then you may take professional help. But as long as you already have the shape and keeping it maintained, it's a snap. So I tell my customers, you know, if you learn to keep it alive and it gets out of shape, just come on back and I'll touch it up for you. It's um that's why on the segment of watering, I emphasize how important it is. As long as you keep it watered and have it in a fairly good location, these will be alive. And then this maintenance or modifying it so that it goes back to where it was before is a not a problem. So learn to keep it alive and then learn to do these light pruning then you shouldn't have any problem enjoying your bonsai for many, many years. If you do run into a problem, get help. That's what I'm here for. And hopefully these series of um, instructional DVDs will help you in case you are not close to uh, professional help. But that's about all you need to do with um, rosemary. See? Got rid of all those little, little sh things that shot out. Granted, this one was easy because I got to it real early, and so that's a, a good rule to remember. Uh, get, get to it early, so all I have to do is light pruning and not worry about major. But uh, as long as it's alive, no big deal. <laughs>